Hola, buenos dias. Good morning. This is Olivia Kido, but you can call me Miss O. And our next candidate for the Road to the Crown interview is Miss Deborah Halal, Miss Universe Mexico. I'm excited to have her. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm very happy to have all of you. Kindly type in where you're from and I'll be waiting for Miss Universe Mexico, Deborah Halal, so we can have a chat with her, see what's going on. And uh, and I'm so looking forward to talk to her. Thank you so much for tuning in. Lupita, Cherry. Hi, Sherry. Sherry Lim. Okay, let's wait for Deborah Halal. So let's see. And then also we are tuning in, you are tuning in here for the Road to the Crown. This is Miss O. Hi, Lori Christie from San, um, San Francisco. Edgar from Puerto Rico. Narciso from Mexico. I want to know where you're from. Let's wait for her. Um, what is, wait, okay. Deborah, we are waiting for you. Thank you. We want to know where you're from. So we have a lot of people here tuning in from Mexico. Hola, Olivia. Saludos desde Peru. And also, um, hello, Yvonne Erag. Miss Deborah, let's um, wait for her. Miss Deborah Halal. And then see you on December 4th. Yay! I'm excited. Daisy Semilia from Los Angeles. Lisa from South Af Africa. Hurry, Deborah. <laughs> Hurry, Deborah. It's so funny. Okay. Oh, she here. Let's wait for Deborah Halal. I'm so excited to have her. Miss Universe Mexico. And let's... Ah, how are you, Hi. Hello. I'm here on live. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. And I'm, I'm so happy to meet you here in Israel, too. Yes. Uh, hola. Buenos dias. Es, uh, estoy feliz de tenerte aquí. Gracias, Olivia. Qué linda. How cute. And thank you. Thank you uh, for the invitation. I'm so happy to be here to, to be with you. So, um, Deborah, we want to get to know you better. All your fans are tuning in right now because uh, we want to see how you are. Are you in Israel right now? Yes, actually, today was officially my first day in the mm -hmm. Miss Universe competition. Because mm -hmm. I arrived three days ago, but I was two days on quarantine. So today morning, I received the call that I was COVID-free, so yeah. I can go out to the activities. And well, it, it was super amazing to know all of the contestants, the, uh, the crew of Miss Universe and everything. And I'm super excited for the next days to to come that's very nice you're so uh que linda uh and then you're hermosa super pretty bella you so belinda Bel Li no you you uh, i'm from los angeles i'm a filipino oh. based in los angeles oh okay okay yeah that's true yeah, yeah. and when you are going to come to israel Oh, I'm, I'm a Miss Universe organization wants me to uh, go there by December 6th. So I'm hoping and praying that my flight, flight won't get canceled. So we'll see so I can make everyone beautiful. Yes, yeah. I know. I know. I hear a lot about your products, your queens and everything. And well, look at your face. Look at the <laughs> face of all the queens that use your products. I will be... Uh, it will be a pleasure to use it too because I want my skin glowy too because yeah. it's it's really important. Well, we use a lot of makeup, a lot of products, but I think it's nothing important than the skincare, the real night routine, the daily routine, and everything is really important. Yes. How excited are you that you are there in Israel? Have you met the ladies already? Oh my God. Well, I'm so Super, super excited. It's the first time that I come here to Israel. And well, I met most of the contestants, but not all of the contestants yet. Because mm -hmm. uh, when I start the competition, when I start the activities, most of the girls went to a Israel tour. So <laughs> I, I couldn't be able to meet all of them. But I hope that tomorrow everything is going to be more normal. <laughs> This is so exciting. So for all the fans who are tuning in, kindly tag your friends, your best friends, your family on this video so everyone can see your beautiful candidate, Miss Universe Mexico. So for, and also, we want to know more about you. Um, uh, how is it growing up with three sisters and how do they help you get to where you are right now? 
Well, I'm the second of four sisters. My sister's names are Hanan. She's 28 years old. I'm Deborah, the second one, and I'm 25. Then is Faria, that is 20. And then Diva, that is the little one, and she's 19. Well, 18 or 19. It's very <laughs> common that we confuse the age of the little, of the little yeah. sisters. And well, I started in the competition. I started with all these things of the beauty pageants because I see it as a platform to talk about different kind of issues, different kind of topics that are not common. And it's like you can have voice in the society and you can talk about everything. And yeah. I, actually, uh, two, two years ago, I had a thyroid problem, a thyroid issues. And in that moment, I thought that a person with a problem, with a health problem, isn't mm -hmm. able to go to an international competition because, um, I don't know, I thought that a beauty queen needs to be perfect and she didn't need to have any problem. And that's why I started with all these things. And I, I said, I, I need to go to Miss Universe. I need to prove to all the women from all over the world that they can, it doesn't matter if they have a condition, if they have a problem, because now I'm a person with hypothyroidism who wants to use this platform to talk about these issues. It's very common nowadays that a person takes medicine every day. And I, I, I'm here to be a real woman that is fighting for their dreams and just acting as a woman, as a beauty queen that I, I want me to admire and I want me to be an example for the future generations and for the people that are suffering for something right now. I totally agree, Deborah. I can relate to you because I also have hyperthyroidism. I... Wow, you do? Yes, wow. yes. So I can relate to you, but I'm taking medications like you. So just to control it, so I oh, can relate and it's okay to talk about it because, and it's okay not to be perfect because we sometimes have things to that we struggle, but then we inspire people just to keep going, right? Yes. So you are a beautiful butterfly too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But Butterfly. So yeah, so um, thank you. Thank you for sharing that story. Thank you for inspiring all of us because you know, you're not afraid to talk about it. You're very bold on, you know, inspiring people just just, you know, have faith, have faith in God also, in order for us to, um, you know, uh, get 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 out of the situation, right? Yes, I know. And I believe that uh, probably not all the people have the same problem, but we all can have a problem. And nowadays, it's very common that we felt disconnected of this world if you have a problem. And that's, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem because we, we need of each other and we live in the same world. So we need to make something that we feel that we are connected with the nature, with the world, with the people, with the animals. And we need to do something that we can feel that we are here with a purpose. I love it. And I heard also, um, speaking of you being the Miss Universe, you were also a first runner up in Mexicana Universal in 2020, right? And then you were the reigning Miss Universe. Uh, you were the reigning Miss Universe, Andrea Mesa won. So what was your reaction when they appointed you as this year's representative to Miss Universe? How did you feel? Yes, well, I participated with Andrea Mesa in Mexicano Universal 2020, and mm -hmm. she won. And in that moment, I just thought like the plans of God are, are perfect. And I don't know, it was like, yeah, of course, I was sad because I, wa I wanted to be on this universe a stage. But in that moment, I just thought, okay, Andrea Mesa is a strong woman. She's very intelligent. And I know that she's going to do a great job for our country. And well, months later, she, went Miss she won Miss Universe. And I thought, yeah, of course, it was her time. It, it was he fight for their dreams. And I admire her. And well, the time passed, and during the, the time passed, uh, the organization of Mexicano Universal decided me to be the next representative of Mexico at Miss Universe, and that's why I am here. <laughs>
I'm very happy to hear that. And what do you admire most about Miss Universe Andrea Mesa? She's very real. She's a real woman and she's very intelligent. She can do everything that you ask for. I, I believe that she's very um, easy going to. She's a very funny person and yeah. I admire her a lot because she's real and she's unique too. And another question is what's the advice that Andrea, Miss Universe Andrea Mesa gave you that you will bring to the Miss Universe stage? Enjoy. Mm. Enjoy all the things that you are doing because you are only to be you are only being here in Miss Universe stage once. So it's your only opportunity. It's normal not to be perfect. It's normal just to uh, share to the world who you are in the normal way, not to have the perfect body, the perfect measures. Just be you. Just be you. Just enjoy the time. Meet all the contestants. Meet all the crew. Because the time flies. Uh, it feels like, okay, I'm going to be here for 12 days or 15 days. But yeah. well, I already have three days in Israel and I'm like, oh my God, the, the time is flying. <laughs> I, I know, guys. Your national director Lupita Jones is also a Miss Universe. Like, how did the, you? How did she encourage you for a back-to-back -back win? Yes. Well, Lupita Jones always tell me that this is a new competition. I am going to compete with women from all over the world, and I don't need to think about the back-to-back, -back or mm. I don't need to think like okay, probably I am not going to win because Mexico was the, the past winner. No, it's, it's not that problem because mm. this is a new competition and I'm starting at zero as all the women that are here. We all have different projects, different doubts, different ideas that we are going to share to the organization. And the importance here is to be real and if the organization the organization is going to choose the women that is going to work with them uh, about the projects that they wanted to for that year. So I feel so confident. I feel so happy. And well, I think that we are doing a great job. I'm enjoying all the moments and most because uh, more because in one time, I just thought like I will be never be able to come to Miss Universe. So mm -hmm. now that I'm, I am here and I have the dream, it's like this, this is another opportunity of life. So I need to uh, take advantage of it. I need to um, take advantage of social media, of the attention to talk about different problems that we are living nowadays, like the environment, the fast fashion, the, the altruism, the philanthropic. So everything, it's an opportunity and I'm taking this opportunity with a lot of love. Wow, very well said. You speak English very, very well, Deborah. Ah, thank you, yes. <laughs> I also, love the language, I love the language. I love it, I, lo I love it. Saludos. Mex uh, Mexico is also known for national, uh, fabulous national costume. Your, your natural, national costume is in Mexico is absolutely, you know, head-turning, amazing. Can you give us a scoop? What is behind, uh, what's the inspiration behind your national costume this year? Yeah, of course, well. Uh, it talks about the old culture, the oldest mm -hmm. culture of Mexico, and it talks about the calendar, the Aztec mm -hmm. calendar. The calendar. And, yes, and I don't know if you, have you ever been in the Pirámides de Teotihuacan in Mexico or no? Or have you ever no. heard about it? Oh, uh, well, it's the inspiration of that a little bit. And it's about a woman that has a lot of, um, power in her life and it's like uh, uh, I don't know how to explain but it's a woman that is fighting for their dreams. Mm -hmm. The colors are perfect they, for the stage. They are purple, green, um, uh, pink and blue and they mm -hmm. look amazing. Oh. I know that all the people it's going to love the, the costume because it's amazing. Uh, it takes three months to do it so mm. i hope that everyone loves it <laughs> wow so those are bright colors on stage i cannot wait to see that and also your fans and your supporters what can you tell all your fans and supporters who are 
you know, tuning in right now. They, they ha we have so many people who are watching all over around the world. So what can you tell them? Yes, well, I hope that everyone from my family and my friends are seeing this live. I'm super happy to be here with Olivia, that she's an entrepreneur and she's a very intelligent woman. And well, I admire you, Olivia, because you, you work a lot and you are always with a smile and telling a, a good message to the world. And that is something really important. And well, to my, to my people, to the people that are watching this video, I want to say thank you for all the support, but we need to continue with that support until the end because uh, Mexico wants the crown. So we are here for, um, for having more time with the crown, with the title, and not only because of the beauty, but because we want to continue sharing the culture, the traditions of Mexico, and I think that Miss Universe is a good platform to continue talking about different projects and different kind of uh, messages. Correct, correct. I have a question for you. Um, since we, ha we don't have a lot of time, we will play a little bit of game, okay? I have like five questions for you. Would you rather celebrate with fireworks or a tres leches cake? Tres leches cake, of course. <laughs> I love the desserts. I, I'm a very sweet per person. I love the chocolate, the cakes and everything. So I would like to prefer to, to have a good uh, thing in my mouth for a little bit. That's good. Would you rather be serenaded by BTS or Ed, Ed, um, Ed Sheeran? What is that? Can you repeat it, please? Uh do you know, um, or, or for example, do you want to be uh, serenaded by BTS? You know the BTS band? The BTS Korean band? No? no, I don't I don't think so. Oh, you don't know them. How about, would you rather date George Clooney or Brad Pitt? Uh, the Bunny. I prefer the Bunny. The George Bunny. <laughs> uh, George Clooney? <laughs> yes, I think. <laughs> Another that's a good question you're you're you, are, you are make me think a lot <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have a house by the beach or on the top of the mountain at the beach i prefer the weather at the beach because i'm not a cold person and i prefer to be warm i prefer to have a little dress and be free and not with the mountains i don't know i prefer the sun every time at the side, so you, you, prepare, uh, you prefer to have a house by the beach. Another question, do you want to be an influencer on Instagram or superstar in TikTok? An influencer on Instagram. Mm -hmm. I love Instagram. Of course, I love and I enjoy my time in TikTok, but I don't know. I enjoy more the time in Instagram, so I prefer that platform. Okay, the last question. Would you rather have lots of, uh, uh, have indulge in a chocolate or potato chips? Potato chips, of <laughs> course. <laughs> of course, I love it. Yeah. So funny. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Deborah. I really had fun. And uh, for all viewers who are tuning in right now, kindly follow Deborah. Where can they follow you? Uh, thank you. Well, we can find me on Instagram as Deborah Laluno. Actually, I have TikTok too, so you can find me on TikTok. I, I used to make a lot of videos, so you can find me as Deborah Halal too. Ah, Deborah Halal. Okay, sounds good. So for, uh, then you only have, you don't have Facebook, no? Oh, yeah. In, in all the social media, Twitter, oh, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, in all of them, I am like Deborah Halal. <laughs> <laughs> all right so for all the fans who are following uh, us right now kindly follow us follow me also on youtube olivia keto and also for a replay on this you can also check this out on instagram my instagram and then um also we will have road to the, the road to the crown interviews more interviews with all the candidates in uh, miss universe competition so please make sure to follow me on instagram i am olivia keto you can also call me miss o and I am the official skincare of the 7th year Miss Universe on my third year now. So I take care of all the beauty queens, their skin, so they will have glowing skin on the pageant day. So thank you so much, Deborah. I cannot wait to see you in person. 
Well, thank you. See you here in Israel. We wait for you. She says. <laughs> yeah, buena suerte, señorita Mexico. Gracias. You're so cute. Kisses. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye, guys. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Yeah, our BTS for, is for the teens. <laughs> that's why That's why she doesn't know BTS. So here, um, Mexi thank you, Mexico. Thank you for all the people who tune in. Kindly follow me on my Instagram. I will interview Miss Uni Universal Chile after this at, uh, in a few minutes. So stay tuned, Miss Universal Chile. I cannot wait to chat with her. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram and we will have more interviews with the delegates. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.